Want to get ready for True Vault Hunter Mode 4? Want to laugh at anything in True Vault Hunter Mode 3? Well, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys this super duper mob melting build that's going to have you laughing at any content coming your way. Get ready to be introduced to the brand new best insane cryo terror build you'll ever find in the internet. Esava, this is Laser Bone, and welcome to today's video, guys. Today, I'm excited to share with you guys a really, really good build for Zane, and by far has got to be the best Zane Cryer Terror build I have ever seen. This build will have you killing enemies super duper fast, it'll have you absorbing bullets, it'll have you saving your shields, it'll have you having infinite ammo, almost infinite grenades, and the best part of this is it's very flexible for any sort of build you guys want to use. Now if that sounds like something you guys are definitely interested in, a like rating would be greatly appreciated and make sure to subscribe for daily Borderlands 3 videos and the best builds you'll find in Borderlands right here on this channel. Now before I get started and show you the build, I do want to remind you guys about our giveaway. We're giving away two free copies of Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the system of your choice to enter and participate it's super easy all you gotta do is click the link down below where it says join bold nation and you guys will be automatically entered all right so now with all that being said let's take a look at our build we're going to be jumping into the undercover tree we're going to be doing a little bit of double agent and we're also going to be doing a little bit of hitman let's get started with our undercover tree now for our undercover tree we're going to be dumping five points into adrenaline same gains increase action skill cooldown rate this bonus is based on the amount of shield he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus is. So this is just going to increase our action skill cooldown. And I'll let you guys know why this is important later on once we take a look at our gear. So you guys can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Then we're going to be dumping a total of 5 points into Brain Freeze. Whenever Saiyan scores a critical hit on an enemy, there is a chance that they will be slowed down. This effect stacks until the target is frozen. This is really important. Basically, almost every single enemy you shoot will automatically get frozen with this build. It is just so beautiful, guys. The synergy on this is amazing. Next up, we're going to be dumping a total of three points into Stiff Upper Lip. Whenever Saint is damaged, he gains damage resistance against that damage type. Really important because this is going to give us a beautiful synergy and a nice survivability which you guys are going to love and enjoy the fact that you're going to be able to stay alive very often and absorb as many hits as possibly as you can. Then we're going to be dumping a total of one point into Rice to the Occasion. Same gains health regeneration. The lower his shield is, the higher the bonus. Really important. Once again, synergizing for that nice survivability effect we're going for. We're also going to be dumping one point into Confident Competence. This is definitely going to increase our gun damage and our accuracy. Accuracy is going to be quite important for this build as we will be fighting up close and sometimes it might be a little bit hard to see the enemy so spray and pray is really cool uh, especially for this build so that accuracy is going to come in handy then we're going to be investing another five points into best serve cold whenever we kill an enemy they will create a cryo nova dealing damage to all nearby enemies we're going to be doing a ton of killing so a lot of cryo novas are going to be happening then we're going to be dumping one point into futility belt insane gains resistance to non-elemental damage really good to have next up we're going to be dumping a total of three points into refreshment this is going to be for our lifesteal and it's going to be giving us that survivability that we want because since we are going to be freezing a lot of enemies our health is going to be coming back every time we shoot the enemy that's frozen so this is almost guaranteeing that we're always going to be up within this build then we're going to go with calm cool and collective this is a beautiful ability specifically for this build whenever sane freezes an enemy and like i stated earlier we're going to be doing a lot of freezing almost everybody's going to be frozen our shield is going to instantly begin recharging so our shield is going to be up the majority of the time with this build as long as we're shooting people now in addition to that if our shield is already full it's going to transfer from our shield to regenerating health now if our health is already full then our action skill cooldown and duration are immediately reset which is kind of going to allow you to have your shield active almost every single time. So not only will you be protected, but you'll be producing more damage since your shield is active every single time. Next, we're going to be dumping one point into Nerves of Steel. What this is going to do, it's going to increase our accuracy, our handling, and it's going to allow us to stack this up to 15 times. So once again, remember what I said, that we are going to be fighting quite up close. So we're going to be doing a lot of spraying and praying. So make sure you guys get this one so you can get that nice little accuracy and handling boost just a tad bit. Next, we're going to be dumping one point into distributed denial. Basically, what this is going to do, whatever we have equipped in our shield, the effect is also going to be applied to our shield, which is really, really cool. And that pretty much covers the undercover tree. Next, we're going to be going into 
is the Hitman Tree. All right, so for our Hitman Tree, guys, we're going to be dumping a total of five points into Violent Speed Kill Skill. After killing an enemy, singing's increased movement speed. This is going to be very helpful because it's also going to be helping us regen health. Then we're going to be dumping a total of five points into Violent Momentum. What this is going to do, it's going to increase our gun damage, and it synergizes perfectly with Violent Speed due to the fact that the more we're moving, the higher our gun damage is going to be. So it's very important to pair those two together. Now, there is a caveat to this build, which I'll explain a little bit later in the video. But I want you guys to remember drone delivery, and you'll understand why once we get into the gear. But we're not going to be investing any points into that one for my particular build. Right now, we're going to be to Death Follows Close. All the same kill skills gain increased effect and duration. As you see, guys, we haven't invested any points into the kill skills that are down here in the bottom because our class mod is actually going to invest skill points into that. So we're not worried about that. We're actually pretty excited that we're able to tap into the kill skills without having to make any sort of big investment. Next up, guys, we're going to go to the double agent tree. And in the double agent tree, we're going to be spending five points into synchronicity. What this is going to do, it's going to increase our gun damage per active action skill. And since we are going to have our barrier constantly active almost infinitely, it's going to help out quite a lot. Then the last five points, guys, we're going to be dumping into kill skill. And what this is going to do is whenever Sane kills an enemy, he and his Digiclone receive gun damage and gain health regeneration. This is a really handy mod, and I'll explain why this is so good once we get into the gear. Now let's talk about the action skills and, of course, the augments we're going to be applying. So for me personally, I have the barrier up. I have that as my slot one, and then I also have my augments in the following order. I have retaliation. This is going to increase our gun damage while our barrier is active, and then I also have the 360, the all-rounder. This is going to allow us to have the, uh, you know, kind of the shield covering us completely uh, watching our bases. Now, I don't have any other action skill active now technically speaking with this build guys you could run it whatever action skill you want so let's say you want to run a barrier with a digi clone you're able to do that if you want to run a barrier with a sentinel you're able to do that if you want to run a sentinel with a digi clone you're able to do that i just find personally that my number one pillar here is definitely the barrier because i want to get that increased gun damage when i'm in it and since i'm constantly having it up active every single time it's very important for me to have that barrier. Now, you could pair the Digiclone in here, or you could put the Sentinel, whichever, guys, you feel more comfortable. I just like running the grenades because they pretty much regen very constantly. So I like having those grenades, you know, being able to throw the grenades wherever I want to, as opposed to placing the Digiclone when I want. Now, once we get into the gear, we're going to be explaining how it could change based on the gear you have. But let's go ahead and jump into the gear and talk about what we will need in order to make this build work. All right, so for our gear, guys, you want to make sure you have the Redundant Face Puncher. Now, it doesn't matter what Terror Anointed perk you have in here. The only reason we're using this weapon is because when we shoot this weapon, this weapon applies a melee. And all you guys will understand how this works once I get a little bit further down within the gear. That is the only reason why we're running this Face Puncher. So now I'll explain how you want to engage every enemy with this build. And basically why this gun is so important is because we want to use this as our melee weapon. So that's the only reason why we have it. Now the weapon that is extremely a requirement and that you also get it with this anointment is while terrified deal 50% bonus cryo damage. This is what makes this build perfectly because this weapon right here is going to allow us to do a lot of stuff. Not only is it going to allow us to apply 50% more bonus damage, plus it also comes with a really high clip. And what that allows us to do, it almost has infinite ammo and we will kind of never have to reload. We might have to reload like once or twice, but it's almost infinite ammo. It's kind of like your bottomless mag for most. That's basically what we're doing with this build. Now, technically speaking, these are the only two weapons you need for this build. You do not need anything else. You just need the face puncher to get that melee. And of course, you need the shredder fire for this particular build. If for some reason you do not have a shredder fire and you're trying to figure out, you know, laser, I don't have a shredder fire. Do you know anything else I could probably use? You could probably use something like the Roland's Call or the Lucinia Call as long as it has that terror perk. That's what you mainly want to focus in. But overall, in general, the Shredder Fire is extremely important for this build. Now, if for some reason you're watching this video and you're like, Laser, I don't have that gun, but I really need it. You're going to need to do three things. And I will send this gun to five of you guys who actually do this. Number one is like this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Number two is make sure you guys follow me on Twitter. And number three is make sure you guys tweet me the following. Hashtag Laser, I need the gun. 
with your Discord name and your YouTube name. I will verify if you're subscribed and I'll also verify if you're also part of our Discord channel. If you guys are, then I will be sending the weapon down your way. Or if you need any of the other stuff I'm going to be mentioning in the build, it'll hit me up. All right, so the next item, which is another requirement, is our Transformer. And this is another anointed Transformer that comes with the Terror Perk or the Terrified Anointment. While Terrified, gain ammo regeneration. The more Terror you have, the higher the bonus. Now, this is what makes this almost a bottomless mag most. The reason is that every time that we have Terror applied to us, our gun will be regenerating ammo. So that's what makes this gun never run out of ammo. The only time you're kind of technically going to reload is if you don't have that Terror applied. Now, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys know how to know when you have Terror. You're going to get that green Aurora around your screen. If you do have that, then you guys are good to go. The next requirement for this particular build, of course, is going to be our class mod. And we're using the Disastrous Executor. What this is going to allow us to do is going to make us have all the kill skills without us having to invest any points into kill skills. And it also allows us to have better accuracy, very handling. It increases our critical hit damage and our status effect damage and the status effect chance. So it's a really good mod to have because it's going to help us out a lot with this particular build. One thing that you would definitely want to make sure you have for this class mod is make sure you get that plus 31 assault rifle damage because our primary weapon is going to be an assault rifle. I also have the plus 30 grenade damage because I'm lobbing the grenades. If you're running a sentinel or a digiclone, you don't need to have that. You could swap it for something else. But the main thing you're looking for here is that plus 31 assault rifle damage. Now, the artifact is not extremely important. I am running a snowdrift static charge. Now, this is actually pretty cool because it gives me a cryo damage bonus. But you could technically run any sort of artifact here. I like this one just because I don't want to have that 50% plus that extra 73% bonus with cryo. It makes me melt the enemies and I'm actually not struggling with this artifact. Now you could use any other one, but you know, if you want to look for one that gives you cryo damage, that would be really important. Now remember, this is also going to depend if there is a modifier that reduces your cryo damage. So with this one, you're going to not really miss out too much if there is a hindrance in the cryo. And last but not least, guys, a number one requirement, of course, is the grenade. Now the reason why the grenade is a requirement is because you want to make sure it's anointed with the melee attack has a 25 chance to apply terror to yourself basically what this is going to do it's going to allow us to apply terror to ourselves when we shoot our face puncher that's the reason why we got the face puncher combo with the grenade so the way you want to play this is you want to shoot your face puncher once you see the terror effect applied to you you can either shoot it again to stack the more terror because the more terror you have the more damage you're going to be doing so you can shoot it three times it'll stack up the terror once you've done that, you want to switch over to your Shredder Fire and melt everything coming your way. Once you see that dwindling down, then you want to go ahead and pull out your Face Puncher. Now remember, you want to be using your Barrier here as well because the Barrier is going to give you extra gun damage. So you want to make sure you're doing that. So whatever comes your way, whether it be a Yellow Bar, Blue Bar, Red Bar, it doesn't matter. You're just going to melt them and freeze them to death. So there you guys have it. This is my Cryo Best Sane build. Let me know in the comment section down below if there's anything you would change. And who would you like to see next with a Terror build? Amara, Flak, or Moe's? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. And don't forget for daily Borderlands videos and the best build videos all over YouTube. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And I will catch you guys on the next video.